just get away with it. So when you're a third world slave, remember who did it to you, those smiling criminals. That goes for you too, police and military. I mean, they're openly committing mass crimes in front of everybody. All right, let's go ahead and continue with calls. Another Scott. Just talked to Scott in Illinois. Now Scott in Arizona. Scott, you're on the air. Hey, Alex. This is Scott in Arizona, the broke, the indirect, semi-direct, and direct aerosol campaign. I called to tell you a little bit more information about Patel, that, that company that is the one that's totally behind everything that you see in the skies on this one pro- program, which is probably... Well, for those who just biggest- joined us, AP headline, Obama looks at climate engineering... And then uh, his science, headed science advisor, John Holdren, told the AP they may have to spray the atmosphere to save us from global warming. But all the studies show it actually creates global heating, what they're doing. And notice he is a big global warming advocate saying they have to geoengineer to save the Earth. That's their cover. The meteorologists and others we've interviewed say the giant secret chemtrail spraying program uh, that they're now kind of unveiling to the public That's a cover story saying it's for the environment. They're actually manipulating the weather and causing a lot of the floods and droughts and things so they can say we're having global warming. They're actually trying to heat the planet. Go ahead. Exactly. But I would like the the listeners to, you know, not use the word chemtrails anymore because that's not going to, you know, give you the real information. I know, but I have to to be able to get, get to get listeners who've been listening for years to know what we're talking about. I mean, it's, okay. the, it's the slang term, but if we start talking about direct and semi-direct aerosol spray campaigns, yeah, they can go read the scientific, all the universities and governments admitting they're chemtrailing us. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, you've got a point. Maybe I should always introduce it, you know, slang chemtrails. Uh, just go okay. ahead. And then the other thing, Alex, that Battelle organization is linked to the anthrax thing that, you know, with the Congress that got sent the anthrax. Uh, stuff when, when the entire White House was on Cipro, the anthrax fighting antibiotic, the White House admits Associated Press, uh, three and a half weeks before it popped up, what's the big deal there? And they own the stock in it? I mean, so what if it's the most weaponized U.S. government anthrax ever and White House enemies get it? I need to give up all my rights. Al-Qaeda hit us and hit us hard. Exactly. Well, But, but tell, tell, tell uh, folks how they're tied in. I've seen their name in association with it. Yeah, they manage our labs. I mean, they really are real deep into this whole thing. I mean, every well, of course, the company involved running on. the bioweapon labs is involved Kim trailing us. They love us. I yeah. mean, the government <laughs> took four thousand plus foster children and radiated them to death because the government is good, Scott. They're good. Everything's <laughs> fine. We're conspiracy theorists. Glenn Beck is going to save us. Okay. All right. Yeah, I like Glenn Beck. <laughs> Barack like Obama is going thing. to save us. Janine Garofalo is going to save us. Drink fluoride. Take Prozac. Give your daughter HPV. So what if it's killing them? Your daughter's dying is good. The government is good. They're not eugenicists. It's not a eugenics war against you and your family. Everything's wonderful. Stay in your trance. Everything's fine. Drink more fluoride, police, because the government's your boss and they love you too. Well, Alex, I'm, I'm glad that you're at least be, you're the one out there helping help me get this word out. I'm going to go to the local news agencies down here and give them all the documentation and say, why? You know, you guys- why? It's good to have barium salts and aluminum dioxide sprayed. <laughs> Alzheimer's with 25-year-olds spreading everywhere. You're supposed to get Alzheimer's when you're 25. It's good. They love you. Come on, everybody dying of cancer is loving. One in 33 dying of it 40 years ago. Now one in three dying of it. It's good, Scott. The government's good. Oh, what's wrong with you conspiracy people? What is wrong with you, Scott? Why are you you so evil? Why don't you love the government? They care about you, Scott. They just want to help you. Do you understand me? You, You need to go to a FEMA camp. You're dangerous, Scott. You read university documents, and you call in on radio shows. What type of freak are you, Scott? What's wrong with you? Go ahead. Go ahead. You're trying to ruin the wonderful world they're trying to build. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not their Kool-Aid drinkers that they'd like you know me to be. And uh, I'm just here to stand up against tyranny and uh, definitely uh, not going to fall into their trap. I'm going to bring this to everywhere I can. Oh, no, Alex, Scott. And I know... I no, know that that's, no. Uh, that's why FEMA teaches the founders are bad. Because they are. 
Radiating children to death, declassified in public. The U.S. government, it's good. The Skiggy's good. Them seizing foster children and testing pesticides on them currently all over the country. It's good. Killing children is good. The government's good. Come on. We have a real chance at this new world order. In order... Got one that can see.